Hi, I'm Kino McGregor. Today we're going to take a look at the correct vinyasa or jump back from Utkatasana. This is a standing posture translated into English as chair posture that happens in the standing postures of the primary series. Starting off in Utkatasana, Julia will be my model today and she's going to bend her knees and take this nice posture. After five breaths here, the correct vinyasa is to exhale placing the hands on the ground and lift up. Now the lifting up is the hard part. Many people jump back from here. So we're gonna take a look at how you can possibly work on lifting up from here. You'll straighten your arms and bring the chest forward, squeezing the knees into the chest. And then you'll lift one leg into the chest, squeezing it all the way in. I would recommend you stay here for five breaths and feel the rib cage drawing in. Feel the shoulders strengthening. Feel the pelvis moving forward. Then after five breaths, you can let that foot fall down. Then the next leg all the way into the chest. Five long deep breaths and we're squeezing it in, squeezing it in. This is a way you can really work on the vinyasa. Then transferring more weight forward, pressing into the shoulder girdle. Both knees gently rise into the chest and exhale, straightening the legs, jumping all the way back. Great. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. Let's just show you that again of what it would look like if it was fully correct in sequence. So let's show you what that would look like if you were doing it fully in the practice. Julia will jump forward again and take Utkatasana, chair posture again, bending the knees, arms all the way up. So while you're in this posture, you want to feel the sense of sucking in the stomach. You want to feel the sense of grounding through the legs. Then exhale, hands move to the ground. Then on the inhalation, you lean forward, lifting both knees into the chest, and exhale, jumping back. Beautiful, inhale, move into upward facing, and exhale, down. Now while it's not traditional, you would want to take places in the practice every time you can to work on the integrity of the practice. So that means if you can't lift immediately both knees into the chest, that method that I shared with you in the beginning is a great way for you to try to build the strength in the technique. Remember to send your pelvis forward, pushing strongly with the arms, squeezing the ribs in, using that deep work inside of the pelvis. I'm Kino McGregor and we just looked at how to lift up from Utkatasana.